Alrighty, let's see here. Hey everybody. Alright, thanks for joining us on that last one. I wanted to do that to get the word out to a lot of the truck drivers and stuff out there. I'm just kind of playing around right now, testing my areas. Um, one of the things I have not gotten to, I know somebody asked me about the uh, bread and pies. I haven't started on them yet. Been really, really busy. There's a lot of truckers and there's a lot of families on the road. I've been uh, extremely happy that a lot of people have been calling me to get their wills completed. I do a lot of wills, healthcare power of attorney, living will, uh, trust for minors. Um, I've had a lot of people calling me up to get all that done. Now that they're at home, they have time to do it. And I'm taking a lot of pride in helping people with their wills and their healthcare power of attorney and all that. And we, all, we, we do all that stuff. Um, and it's good for life. So um, I've had a lot of questions about wills and everything. Um, it's kind of like, okay, I got to get to make them a bread here, my strawberry pie. But then I got people that have emergencies or people that want to get some of their stuff done because they're at home. And I will always drop what I'm doing, unless I'm with my daughter, of course, uh, to get all that done. So we're going to go home now and I'm going to go ahead and get the bread and the pies and everything started. Um, but if you still, like I said, if you want to get your will done for you and your family and everything else, give me a call up. We can get it all taken care of. I can get it to you and you can do it right on your phone, believe it or not. A full will, good for forever. Smaller. So um, this is for anybody in the United States or Canada that wants to get their will done. Uh, I'm here in Quincy, Illinois. Love my hometown. Take pride that um, I got people coming from all over the United States and Canada you know, to get to finally hear about my little hometown here in this neck of the woods. Um, get a hold of me at 217-316-0219. Now let's get back to our regular motivation. Each, of course, my phone goes down every once in a while because things are closed around here. But remember this, you matter, you're important. What you say, think, and do is very, very important. Every day you're out there in the world, everybody's like, man, you repeat yourself. You're right, I repeat myself every day because people need to hear it every day. People need to know that they matter. They know that they gotta get stuff done. People need to know that no one's going to give you a handout. No one's going to give you anything. And everybody that wants, 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 it makes no sense. You have to earn everything you do in life. You have to make what you get in life. You have to read, become smarter if you want to do certain things. I know everybody's like, I'm going to, you know, they've got these dreams. And I get that. But a dream cannot become reality until you work towards it. In other words, you can't just automatically go become president of the United States. You just can't do it. And I don't want to hear any political jokes, please. Okay, you can't just go out there and become, oh, I want to be the CEO of a company that's, well, you can't just do that if you don't even know what their product is. You see, there's reality and there's dreams. Your dreams can become reality with hard work, practice, and using logic, okay, and reasoning behind what you're doing. So what is logic and what is reasoning and why are they so important? They're so important because, like I said, if you don't know how to drive a car, how can you go drive a car? If you don't know, you know, how to lay brick and mortar, how do you plan on building a house? You know, if your dreams are, I'm going to become a multi-millionaire or billionaire, okay, how are you going to do it? And you don't know what you're going to do to become that or do that, then it's just a dream and that's all it's going to stay. But if you start finding avenues, see, that's what you got to do first. You got to find the proper avenue, the proper approach to do the things you want to do. And if you don't, then it's, then it's just a pipe dream. It means it's going to go nowhere. It's not going to do anything. But everybody's capable of doing whatever they want. Now, along the way, those dreams and ideas will change a little bit, not because you don't want them anymore but because new things pop into your mind and now become better than what the original dream was because you're working towards what that original dream is and I know people get confused when I say this and I don't mean for them to get confused but if you're gonna go out there and you want to be an Olympic athlete so you start going out every day running working lifting weights eating right you know what next thing you know people could be coming up to you like hey how are you keeping so thin I, next thing you know you're not an Olympic athlete, even though you'd like to be, but instead you're a motivational speaker helping people and you love that more than what you ever thought you'd love by becoming an Olympic athlete. Okay, so you're an Olympic athlete, okay? A lot of people that play basketball or baseball and they, they dream of becoming a pro. You know, a lot of those pros that became pros don't make the money they want and all of a sudden they got hurt knees, hurt elbows, they their their backs are bad, you know? 
and they're not happy. But you learn that as going into it, and you're like, you know what? Maybe I'll just be the coach. <laughs> so now you're the coach. You have to use reason and logic on everything we do in life. You have to be able to separate the good from the bad. There's so many gray areas. If you want to do something like that's great. But if you're going to do it, you can't just say I'm going to do it and then expect it to be done. It's kind of like a farmer. You can say you want to be a farmer as much as you want, but if you do not go plant a seed into the ground, then you're going to never become a farmer. You're never going to become, you just because you say you're something doesn't mean that's who you are. It's kind of like um, Married with Children when Bud Bundy wanted to become Grandmaster B and all this other stuff. He would call himself make him a rapper. That doesn't make him who he is. And we'll use farming as an example. If you're out there every day and you know nothing about soil, or you didn't learn that, oh, by the way, I got a plant at this particular time. I need to cultivate. I need to great. But unless you practice, unless you learn, unless you learn what is going on, then there is no reason for you to say that you're something if you've never taken the time.